Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me to harvest a crop that I've grown for the first time. Uh, not just in a green stalk, but period. And no, it's not this Paris Island Claws lettuce. I'll show you what it is in just a moment. So to begin with, um, I have a hard problem with uh, wildlife, small wildlife in my garden. There's not a whole lot that I can grow on the bottom levels of these green stalks. As you can see, those two brown ones don't even have anything planted in the bottom row except for stinging nettle. Over here I've got some beans that they haven't figured out was there yet. And last year I grew spilanthes at the bottom of all of my green stalks. Here I'm trying out cucumbers. Earlier in the season, probably it's been about a month I would say, a little over a month, I um, planted something in this bottom, the bottom of this green stalk. that I thought might be a perfect candidate because the groundhogs, squirrels, or rabbits probably wouldn't like it. And it looks like I might have been right. That thing is rat tail radishes. Rat tail radishes. Okay, so these aren't actually in here down here creating bulbs their production comes from the seed pods they're not actually radish bulbs they're seed pods they create these flowers just like any other radish and then from those flowers come the pods normally the pods on uh, radishes aren't very big. They're still tasty. Don't get me wrong. They're still tasty and they aren't quite so pro prolific. However, when you look at the rat tail radishes, these are very long and loads and loads of them. Now, this is my first time growing them and I was walking by just now and I thought, I'm guessing these are probably ready to eat. If this was a normal radish, I think at this stage, this would be far too fibrous. But on a rat tail radish, these should be fairly tender still. So I'm looking a hot mess because it's Sunday. I've been out here all day, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna give this a try. Let's, let's see how, this, how these taste. There we go. All right, so here is an example of the rat tail radish. And my plants are loaded with these. They break off the stems really easily. Normally, I'm all about just pulling some fruit off a plant, giving it a good wipe on my shirt or something and eating it. But I'm not gonna tempt that with these because I'm growing them so close to the ground and I got, like I said, birds, squirrels, groundhogs, bunnies. I'm not, I just don't wanna run, run the risk of um, eating something with a little more protein than I'm meant to have. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go wash these off right quick and then we'll give them a taste. Okay, I'm back. So my understanding is that these are going to be tender, 
They're going to be mildly spicy. One lady described them as a cross between green onions, garlic chives, and radishes. Uh, we'll see. Okay, now there are different varieties. I got these seeds in a seed swap, um, but I believe Baker Creek sells a variety that is red. Red, um, red rat tail radishes are also known as, what was it? Spicy beans is a n another name for them. Um, dragon tail. Um, there's a couple different names for them that I've read about. So if you've ever ate uh, any other radish pod, I mean, this feels like that to me. These are pretty peppery. <laughs> I mean, not a lot for me, but for somebody who doesn't like radishes, this isn't a good alternative for you. But these are good. And there's plenty of them. I don't know how many plants I have here. I just threw some seeds out here. When it was like really, really hot, when we were running temperatures like 90 85 and above for you know two weeks straight i thought to myself that's the perfect time to plant these because that'll send them the seed obviously create the flowers that'll create the pods and eventually end up the rat's tail so i don't know how many plants i have here but it does look like i have a lot here to harvest so i'm gonna get to it Those are good, but they are, they do have that radish, that spiciness of a radish to them. I was thinking, a lot of people suggested adding them to your stir fries or your salads. And I was thinking, oh, that sounds like a great idea. But depending on how many I get, I may want to do something else. So another thing I was thinking is if I have a bunch of them, enough to fill, you know, a jar, I'm gonna try fermenting them. I haven't met, I can't, I haven't met anything that I fermented and didn't like. So, it stands to reason that rat tail radishes won't be any different. I'm so glad I looked down and saw these. I think, um, had I let them go too much further, they would have started getting fibrous on me and some of them may be I don't know you know some of these are like ridiculously long but to be honest I forgot about them um, uh, and one other thing they do not look pretty out here in the garden but this is what they're supposed to look like we're going after the pots there is no bulb in the ground now, when you're harvesting these, they say, as long as it keeps producing flowers and as long as you see um, pods forming, you can keep harvesting. 
I was watching one lady who said she'd gotten, you know, something like three or four harvests from her plants. At this moment, here in my Ohio Zone 6 garden, we are getting temperatures now probably in the high 60s. <clears throat> and our daytime temperatures... Um, Last week we were in the upper 80s. I think this week we're supposed to cool down a little bit. I don't know. It seems like they get to be wrong about the temperature. <laughs> so, I'm not counting on it. But my point is, I'm not going to pull, even though these plants look bad, I'm not going to pull them after I do this harvest because there could be loads more on the way. And I just don't know it because the flowers have already petered off but the pods will start fattening up you know in a week or two from now now if I find that um, they, they are really tasty they're really tasty but if the way they are but if I find that I'm in love with these um fermented oh my goodness I will have to put these on my must grow list especially being how prolific these are I mean and this is you know an answer to me for growing something close to the ground that apparently my local wildlife is not interested in you know, because I don't exactly love having empty pockets on my um, green stalks. Uh, it's wasted space. But I didn't need any more spilanthes. And I don't need any more stinging nettle either. That actually just came back because it's perennial. Not because I planted it again. All right, let's go around to the other side. And, you know, if you let these go, they just become seeds for, you know, and dry out, obviously. Um, they become viable seeds for plants for the next planting. I always did think that was one of the benefits to being a um, uh, lover of radishes and growing them myself because if ever I didn't get a good enough harvest, I'd still leave them in and get the seed pots because I like those too. They're crunchy, spicy, not as spicy as an actual radish but still got that radish flavor to it like see here there's some coming in here so I will have another harvest this will also I'm looking at these and I have I have different sizes here this will give me um, a good idea of when I should go ahead and harvest uh, my rat tail radishes. It's a gorgeous day here. Uh, Sunday, August 11th, I want to say. Wonderfully windy so to speak you know there's a nice breeze happening we got some dappled sunlight it's about 6 p.m. the birds were out the squirrels were out doing their thing eating the food I provide for them
Now, if I find that some of these are fibrous, I think pickling them might be the way to go. And then next time I'll just know better to get them sooner rather than later. Like I said, these plants aren't exactly pretty. But they certainly are productive. I think these would make a great snack too. Now, ones I've seen in the YouTube videos are a little bit thicker. So maybe mine are on the sickly side. I don't know. And I did read though that different varieties of the rat tail radish uh, produce different colors sizes, you know, as you would expect. I see one right there. Okay. I think that about does it. For this go around at least. All right, friends, so here it is. This is what I got from the bottom of my green stalks. Well, just the one, which has six pockets. And let's see, two of the pockets didn't have any germination. So this is four to six plants worth. Not bad. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will see you guys all on another day in another video. Until then, happy growing, everyone.